A rocket company planning to set up a factory in Tucson is good news for the job market and for Pima County's efforts to create a cluster of aerospace businesses near Raytheon and Tucson International. Vector Space rolled an example of one of its rockets through downtown Tucson today. Look at that. The company is building rockets for a growing market for launching very small satellites. Now in your science, Craig Smith has more on how as more aerospace companies established in Tucson, they help attract even more companies here. You are looking at where the blazing hot power of a rocket helps thrust it into space. Vector Space Systems chose Tucson as a good place to build its fleet of small rockets. But Vector's plans show a bigger plan for Tucson is getting off the ground too. A plan to make our area an even stronger tech center. Vector built rockets to launch very small satellites. It says the demand is so high it already has $130 million in bookings and it will eventually hire about 200 workers who will make an average of $70,000 a year. Vector will launch at several sites in the U.S., but the company's CEO says Pima County's Aerospace Tech Park will be a good place to build the rockets. The county came to me early on and said, we've heard about you, we're interested in putting you in the tech park and uh, here are all the things we can help you with. And, it, and it's, you know, cutting red tape. It's, it's making sure that you're not treated unfairly. It's giving you opportunities to be in the tech park, which is a great place to be. But Vector's move to the aerospace tech park shows a broader plan is taking off. Vector will be the second company there. The first is Worldview, which makes and launches high altitude balloons for space tourism, research, and military use. Alex Rodriguez of the Arizona Technology Council says more companies moving in can convince other firms to move in too. It's relatively small community in the commercial space uh, com uh, uh, market and they're all looking at Tucson and wondering what, why are these companies coming here? What do they know that maybe I don't and what uh, is the opportunity for me as a space tech company as well? And as more companies do move in, they should create a network of workers and suppliers to help them all thrive. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.